Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this fresh cartoon text effect in Adobe Illustrator absolutely vector and editable. So let's start with a new document Ctrl N or Command N on your Mac to bring up a new document panel and I'm gonna size my canvas with the 1920 by 1080 click create and first of all bring up your appearance panel go to the Windows appearance or click Shift F six on your keyboard i'm gonna undock it and put it so we focus and primarily work with our appearance panel today grab your type tool or click t on your keyboard and uh, type your design i'm gonna work with the hot sale text uh, today let me make it a little bit bigger and uh, head over to the uh, font uh, panel. Let's choose our typeface and typeface for today's design is Andorra Demo. Head over to the link in the description and download it for free. It's from my collection of 12 script fresh fonts for 2018. So head over to tutorials.net and find the link how to download this font for free. Okay, so let's continue our tutorial by creating a new Feel. So head over to the bottom left corner of your appearance panel and create a new field. Within this field, uh, click on this uh, black square to bring up the panel and head over to the bottom of this panel and select from this drop down show gradient swatches. So to uh, show only gradient swatches and apply the full black and white gradient. Now let's go to the gradient panel and work with the swatches itself. So double click on the first uh, white gradient stop and uh, head over to RGB uh, panel in the hexadecimal value. Type this color 7B19. Or three click enter to apply the changes head over to the black gradient stop and in the hexadecimal field type ff 4f14 click enter to apply the changes now grab the gradient tool or click g on your keyboard and rearrange the gradient from top right to bottom left okay uh, that's fine let's create a new stroke head over to this uh, icon on the bottom left corner and create a new stroke hold left mouse button key and drag the stroke below your field right here and now let's boost the weight of your stroke to eight points and make it white so click on this uh, icon to bring up the uh, swatches and uh, select the white swatch. Uh, let's apply the drop shadow effect to this stroke. So make sure that this stroke is selected. You see the uh, kind of bluish rectangle around the stroke. Uh, head over to the effect, stylize, drop shadow. In open dialog box, set the opacity to 45%. Set the X offset value to 5.34 pixels and copy this 5.34 uh, with Ctrl C and paste it into the Y offset as well and furthermore paste it into the blur field either so 5.34 here 5.34 here let me uh, put the dot Okay, and change the color, it should be default black, 0, 0, 0. Click OK, check preview, uh, let us check what we uh, have right now, click OK to apply effect, create a new stroke by clicking on this icon, push it to the bottom again, make it selected and uh, boost the stroke weight just to 40 points, click OK, the stroke, create another stroke, select the bottom one and uh, boost the stroke weight to 58 points uh, like this. and go to the stroke color go to the color picker bring up the color picker and uh, let's apply this uh, hexadecimal value ff2a1c 
click enter to apply the changes. So far so good, it looks decent but it lacks the dimension. Let's introduce the dimension by pushing the stroke effect to the bottom right. In order to do this, head over to the effects, distort and transform, transform. In open panel, set the horizontal scale value to 1 or 4 or 104 percent and vertical to 1 or 6 or 106 percent then go to the move pane and in a move horizontal move value uh, set the 17.7 pixels in vertical type the 13.3 pixels Check preview to see the result and click OK. Now let's introduce the drop shadow to this effect. So go to the effect, make sure that stroke is selected. Go to the effect, distort and transform. Uh, sorry, uh, effect, stylize, again drop shadow. In this panel, set the opacity to 70%. Boost the X offset value to 8 pixels boost the y offset value to 8 pixels and set the blur value to 1.74 i believe 1.78 let's change the color click on this black square to bring up the color picker and in the hexadecimal field type 4c 2 3 and 0 5 Click OK to apply the changes. Let's take a look what we have. It looks decent. Click OK. And now let's add an inner shadow. This you see it's come from the kind of come to, from the stroke and casting the shadow to the main field. So on the top of the field, select the top of the field and create a new field with add a new field icon. Within this field, click on this square to bring up against the swatches panel and introduce the default black and white uh, gradient okay that looks decent now let's go to the opacity uh, box and let's decrease the opacity to 30 percent so your field should be 70 percent transparent 30 percent of opacity uh, click enter to apply the changes now uh, i'm gonna return to opacity uh, panel again and change the blending mode from normal to screen so far so good let's also keep it selected this field should be selected and let's also decrease the size of this field a little bit by heading over to the effect distort and transform and transform in open panel decrease the horizontal value to 98 pixels 98 percent i'm sorry and vertical value to 98 percent check preview click ok and finally keep selected your uh, stroke and let's rearrange the gradient grab the gradient to click g on your keyboard make sure that your field is selected and it's represented with the gradient not the fill value and let's arrange the gradient with the gradient tool so from left to right like this okay sent for some of the reason i cannot apply the gradient for this effect okay let's go and do it again let's go to effect apply transform okay that's that's uh, that's nice okay that's some uh, issues with the selection of uh, this field okay uh, it looks nice but right now let's uh, bend it a little bit with the var tool so uh, select the element itself not the field but right at the element so click uh, on the appearance panel click on these characters and head over to the effect warp arc effect warp arc in open dialog box apply the band to 10 pixels click ok and this is how it looks guys this is how you can create this amazing fresh cartoon effect in adobe illustrator applicable to very very 
a lot of uh, nice designs so um, you can buy it on vitorials.net for only one dollar and use it with wherever you want and again go to vitorials.net for more adobe illustrator and graphic designer tutorials if you enjoy this video give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues thank you for watching enjoy your day